Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching our presentation with demo of our product we call the Fast Film. The product name represents our mission. We want to enable the user to utilize their own emotional state to browse their personalized movie recommendations faster and without external research. My name is Jury, and I'm a data scientist responsible for the product development and story, recommender engine and the deployment. My colleague Zach is also a data scientist who played a major role in the product development, NLP modeling, and last but not least, our UI development. Finally, let me introduce Harriet again. Harriet is a gen generated person, but she perfectly represents our target audience. She's a movie aficionado around 30 years and usually invests two hours of her time into experience provided by her favorite movie streamer. Before choosing a movie, Harriet wastes 18 minutes of her time with the interaction with around 50 movie titles recommended to her. While browsing through or interacting with their recommendations, the users refer to Google search and various movie related websites to justify their decision. For example, they read movie reviews. On top of that, these users have no flexibility when it comes to browsing movies beyond conventional movie genres. When it comes to Netflix and its 180 million global users, we identify the market size of 54 million subscribers. In the beginning were Amazon reviews, and the reviews were with ratings, and the reviews were our data. We engineered three missing pieces, the aforementioned filters, movie ratings, and aggregated information. These all came in two phases. First, we used LDA model to identify the emotions in the reviews. Second, we utilized TensorFlow and Universal Sentence Encoder to extract the most representative sentences in the reviews. Last but not least, we scraped IMBD repository and acquire general information about movies. In the end, we created a repository of 4,300 movie titles for our product. In our second phase, we juggled with the pieces to build our product. To improve the lives of users such as Harriet, we consider it our mission to reduce the time it takes for such user to pick a satisfying movie. So, all of our features are designed to reduce the time it takes for users to conduct external information search and reduce the time wasted on non-appealing movies. Our first feature group is the aggregation of all essential information the user frequently needs to access a movie's watchability, such as its description, uh, posters, and IMDb ratings. Additionally, many of our alpha and beta users express the bulk of time being wasted on scrolling over reviews to identify the main sentiment toward a movie. So to solve that, we included a review aggregation algorithm by extracting the three most representative review sentences uh, using the universal sentence embedding technique and then clustering them to find the most representative three. Our second feature group is personalized recommendations for users and it goes as follows. The users can easily upload the titles they have already watched on Netflix. In the next steps, the engine refers to three different similarity matrices, mapping the similarities across all the movie titles in our repository. Next, the model returns the most similar movie titles and their frequencies to the titles the user already watched. Lastly, only the mutually shared similar titles are recommended to the user. We focus on adjectives in the reviews and associate and level of emotion to each movie. After clustering the adjectives in the LDA model, we computed their relative frequencies in the reviews. In the end, we normalized the frequencies on a scale from zero to five. We plan to continue with the development of the app as Chrome Web App. According to our strategy, when we mature, even with the minimum $1 subscription per month and 20,000 subscribers, we could reach a net profit of almost $9,000. After rolling out the minimum viable product, we were able to improve on our product with the feedback provided by our users. 
The biggest surprise came from the fact that there are really two main views on selecting movies. There are relaxed users who spend little time picking the movies and would select from the recommendation given by Netflix. However, there are also really picky users who would constantly refer to external sources to absolutely find the best movie they want to spend their time on. We got a few suggestions from both groups to improve our product, as you can see in this slide. Welcome to our demo. In the first part, I'm going to show you how to get your history file on Netflix so that we can make personalized recommendation. You go on account, then scroll to your profile and see the viewing activity. You can download this file. Note that this part is optional and is designed to improve the recommendation that you get. So if you're concerned about the app using your data, you can also opt out. The app consists of three parts you can input. Your history file, your mood filters, and the minimum IMDb rating requirement. It will return you 10 recommended movies. Next, let's see how the app personalizes according to user history. I will input two test history files and fix all other parameters to neutral so, so that we can see how the recommendations change. So first, I will input Jiri's history. As you can see, here is Jiri's recommendations. Each title consists of aggregated information along with curated reviews scraped on the internet. Jiri is a big fan of horror, so he got these recommendations that are mostly horror movies. Let's input my history. As you can see here, I have a completely different set of recommendations. Uh, I generally go for thrillers, so I got a lot of those. Next, let's see how your mood plays a role in your recommendation. Let's say that I've had a long day and that I want to watch something funny. So I will bump up heartlifting humor to maximum. As you can see, most of this here are funny movies. Let's go back and say I want to watch something more realistic and memorable. My top 10 changes drastically according to the mood that I was in. There's no longer any funny movies here. In the future, we will be trying to implement A-B testing in order to figure out how to improve our metric and how to evaluate our product. We will also try to improve our representative review system as well as growing the mood filter and expanding our database to include more movies. And that's the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.